Hello, good morning, and during this upcoming module, I want to talk a little bit about what you're going to do. We are going to continue what we were doing last week, which is brainstorming, thinking of ideas, asking questions. And this week, I want you to start and actually read chapter two in your book. And then there are actually, when you go start looking at the information in that page, which there's a link to it down below, you'll see that the author of our textbook, see if I can get it, of the textbook, has even provided a PowerPoint presentation slides that go with the chapter. There's some videos that go with some of the information throughout the chapter, so if you'll look at those, those should help you a lot with even um, understanding the chapter even more. And I thought about creating my own and doing my own, but why not reinvent the wheel, right? Teachers, we don't, why reinvent the wheel? It's already there for us. So I'll have you go through that, so through chapter two. So you, by the end of this week, you should have read chapters one and two in your action research book. And then you should also have some ideas jotted down somewhere for things that are happening in your classroom that you're doing or in your school that are, that are going on, programs that are put in place, um, instructional ideas, that you want to know, does that, is that working? Is that doing anything? You know, and maybe you've asked yourself the question, why in the world are we doing this Literacy First stuff? What good is Literacy First doing in my classroom? That's just an example. And you get, we want to get more specific than that, but that's, you know, that's something that you're wondering about, that you're curious about, that maybe you can explore during this semester and find some answers. And through those answers, help your school make some better decisions. Okay? So your task this week to read the chapter, go through the resources, there's a discussion about, and it's really taking the process that you're gonna learn, the action research process, and applying it to a specific, um, the word is gone, a specific uh, scenario. So, and it's, it has to do with math. We're going to look at math scores and all that. And you're just going to kind of talk through how you might do action research just based on that one specific scenario. That doesn't mean that when we when you get started doing ideas that you have to stick with math and all that. It's just to kind of think specifically for this discussion. So you'll talk about that with your um, group, members of your group, your 80s movie group. Yeah, sorry, I know it's cheesy, but I thought it was kind of fun. And then we'll do your first real assessment not real, but an assignment, your first challenge here, which is really to get together with your learning group in a Google document to share the ideas that you've got so far. So remember I told you to write your ideas down last week. This week we're actually going to put them in a Google document. You're going to share those together. You can add to those. You can make the questions more specific as you see people, other people in your group adding. I'm going to try to go in throughout the week and add to those. So that's your test this week. So chapter two, Look at all the resources, have your discussion with your group, and complete the challenge of adding your ideas to the Google document. If you have any questions, holler at me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.